Hey, thanks for stopping by. Today we're going to be framing up a little 8x10 oil painting for your home or maybe for your client. And we'll throw in a couple of tips along the way that I think will make your framing a little bit easier. So let's get started. So here's the items we'll be using today to frame our painting. Starting from the upper left, that is a point driver that will hold the painting actually in the frame. To the right of that, just some wire cutters. Then some soft strand wire. I'll talk a little bit more about that. Uh, the top right is, for me, a cordless drill. I'll use a small bit, and then we'll talk about that little piece of blue tape on it as well. It's the frame, and it's laying on a sheet of cardboard just to protect it. Uh, there's some D-rings that we have here with the screws, a normal pencil, and a ruler. So let's get started. Today I'll be framing this painting of a slice of apple pie. And the video of me painting this, uh, this apple pie is available. You can watch it on my YouTube channel. But uh, so normally it'll go down in the back inside this rabbit. It's R-A-B-B-E-T is the spelling of it. And that's where the painting will fit. And we'll affix that in there with the, um, with the points. But first, I'd like to take care of some other business here because we'll actually be generating a little bit of sawdust because I'm going to pre-drill the holes for the mounting hardware. So let's do that next. So let's figure out where our mounting hardware is going to go. And mounting hardware needs to be placed about a third down from the top um, of the top from the top of the frame. And if I take my ruler and I measure out here, I'm going to get 14 and a half inches. And for me to figure out what the third is there, that's a little... 14.5 divided by 3. What? I'll never find 4.83. Hang on just a second. A little difficult to come up with something that's close. And what I like to do is use a ruler that has millimeters on it. And so I'll figure out what the millimeter is on this. And I get to about 370 millimeters. And it's easier for me to get close to what the proper distances to come down. So in this case, 370 millimeters, let me try that again, divided by three, oh yeah, yeah, okay, 123, is going to put me at 123.3 um, millimeters are down from the top to reach my one-third. So instead of 123.3, 123 is fantastic for me, so I'll turn, take my piece and I'll turn it. So I'm going to come down 123 millimeters down, and I'll measure and I'll measure that off of my pencil. So I've got so I have my ruler laying out now, and I've got it pretty much close to the top. I'm going to come down 12 centimeters, and then three millimeters off of that and I'm just going to place a little mark and that's just going to get me really close to where I want to be and I want to put this hardware about an inch and a half two inches in so I'm going to go ahead and figure I want it to be sorry about the shake we don't have earthquakes in Florida so that was me bumping the tripod so two inches in and that's going to tell me where I want that. And let me do that same thing on the other side. So here we are on the other side. I've got, I'm going to come down to, I'll see the 12th, so that's 120 and 3. So I'll make my mark. And once again, I want to come about two inches in from the side. I'll tell you what I'm going to do, I'm going to do an inch and a half from the side. There we go. That puts me about in the right spot of where I want to put my hardware. And I think I actually had one and a half inches on the other side too, but I'll check that. Now the next thing I'm going to want to do is I need to drill a pilot hole. And you also, I've seen some people that will do, they won't do a pilot hole. They'll actually, or they'll take a nail and just nail a little bit and make a dent. What I like to do is actually drill a pilot hole. And if you can see here what I've done, I only want to go so deep. And so to know how far I'm going to go, I put a little piece of blue tape there about how deep I want to go. That way I know I'm not going to punch through to the other side of my nice frame. So let's see. Let's get this. So placing the drill bit. OK, 
take it down just to that tape hits and pull it out and that's the sawdust I was talking about a little bit earlier so let's do the other side okay I flipped it around let's check that inch and a half I did before so inch and a half yep I'm at inch and a half so that's correct once again with my drill find our little spot Doesn't have to be perfect, but that'll take care of that. Now, the reason I talk about this dust or the sawdust from this, if I had already put my painting in here, some sawdust may make itself in between the rabbit and the, the edge of the painting, and, and I don't want that. So I do my pre-drill here before we ever get to setting the, the painting in there. So let's do that next. So I think we're ready now. So I've taken my frame, set it back down, face down, and I oriented my uh, holes to the top part so I know the orientation of my painting that'll go in. I've changed out my drill bit on my drill just for a Phillips head screwdriver tip. So let's take this beautiful apple pie painting and we'll just place it face down in that rabbit and using my uh, my point driver and I'll have information for this below let's just place it in there and snug it up and it drives a very nice point so it's only an 8 by 10 about to run out of these I'm about to reload it so it's only an 8 by 10 so we don't need a whole, a uh, whole bunch of those to hold it in there. So right now you can see now I have a nicely framed painting uh, in there. However, we gotta, we've got some more work to do. And what we have to do is place our D-rings and wire it up for hanging. So here's our D-rings, and I'm gonna have uh, uh, links below for all these. Things. I love these things. The manufacturer of these and the manufacturer of this soft strand wire. It's got a little plastic coating on it that is nice and soft so the wires aren't sticking you. So the first thing we want to do is to mount these. So I've already got my holes drilled. Let me get a set up the camera for a close up and we'll, we'll mount one of these. Alrighty, I think we're ready to go. These things are pretty easy to mount. Line it up, get a screw, Place it in the drill bit. It doesn't take much. You wanna, I don't want to overdrive this. I'm gonna put a, I'm gonna put just a little bit of an angle on this. It's a little bit of an angle. Come on, man, check your focus. If you want to, you can get it close and just finish it off by hand with a screwdriver. So. Let me get this other one here just a second. Okay, we've got our other D-ring. We'll set it up into that hole. I'm staring at your battery. Nice and easy. Hey, guess what I did while you were out getting a cup of coffee? I didn't like the way that the D-ring was sitting up on this edge here. So what I did is I went ahead and remarked move my lines in this is a thick piece so i decided you know what rather than complete that and have the d-rings hanging up like that i'm going to go ahead and just move them inside of this on this thicker part and uh, they won't be they won't be hanging up like that more battery shots there we go that allows me to lay flatter against the wall so let me get this other one in and you're framing yourself so you know, doing your own framing. If you want to move something around, move it around. If you're making a YouTube video and you mess up, hey, don't don't keep going down the wrong path. Back up. Move it. Is this video sponsored by Bosch? Nice. So, we've got our two D-rings in and we're ready to string some wire. So I have my wire cutters and my soft strand wire. And this is rated at 20, 20 pounds to hang on this. 
this is probably no more than six pounds so I like this soft strand wire I have some links down below in the notes and, and you can uh, go out and get you some it's fantastic stuff another artist suggested this to me and it's been great so I'll make sure I have enough I like to do one at a time so I'll string the soft strand through here and I'm gonna zoom in so you can see this uh, and I think it's gonna make it a lot easier for you I decided to change my angle make sure you see everything here so I've got my wire underneath coming over the top I'm gonna come back around underneath this leading wire I'm gonna go back over I want you to see it I'm gonna go over this and come back under I'll move my hand here so you can see this I'm going under and I'm going to loop, loop that back through and over the top of that leading wire. When I pull it, it forms a nice, nice, clean connection there. Hopefully you can see it. And then I can just wrap it. And we'll get, we'll wrap it back on itself and we'll get a few good strands of that on there. So we'll probably get four or five wraps. And we're going to let that hang out there for just a second while we do the other side. Okay, here we are at the other side, and this time I'm gonna cut it before I finish it, and I'm gonna be generous because, hey, it's just wire, but you never want to sit there and uh, not have enough. So, trusty wire, wire cutters, I'll have a link. Same kind of thing we did on the other side. That was me bumping the camera again. Try to get one of those bump-free cameras, but they don't sell them. So here we go. I'm going under, over the top of this piece, underneath, back over. Bring that up nice and so before we cinch it, I like to make sure I got it pretty good where I'm gonna have a nice gentle hang there. And if I need to kind of tighten it, now is the time to tighten that up before you cinch it. Excellent, there we go. Nice, now it's got some flexibility to it. And once again, I can wrap this three or four times, or four or five times. Wrap one more. And I slide them down, so it slides down, and cinch it up again, make it look nice. Here we go. I'm take my cutters. Trim it really nice and neat near the end. And one on the other side. Alright, let's see how this thing looks. Alright, very nice. Got my painting. It's all done. Uh, I think you'll be happy with doing that yourself. Well, I'll finish up in just a second. Hey, thanks for being here. If you'd like to see that painting being painted, then check it out right here. I'll post a link to it. And other than that, uh, if you have any comments, questions, absolutely put them in the comments section of this video and I'll be sure to get to them. I'm happy to be back. Hope you are too. And other than that, we'll see you next time. Thank you. Bye-bye.